pulled up with guns out and tried to just rob. This is a very exciting and very sad moment all at the same time. We're back at this huge thousand dollar storage unit that's been the best ever and I think we're back here for the very last time. There's one giant metal cabinet, there's a bunch more boxes, but let's just start ripping open boxes and end this one with the bang. Should I start down here or up top? I say get those two and then move up top. All right, the grand finale. This is our last chance to find the weapon safe that we read about. If it's not here, I do. <laughs> what? Oh, I thought you flipped it towards me. No. Like on camera, it looked like it was coming towards me. I was like, no! <laughs> no, that was the other way. If we don't find it this time, it's unfortunately not in here. Use tissues. These are, what are these? Construction Master 5? Hmm, no calculator, idea what that is. Feet inch fraction calculator. Oh, okay. A Makes sense. Calculator. What's this? Is that actual coffee? Better not be. Wait, what is that? Sugar? I hope it's sugar and not... It's sugar. <laughs> What's the... Do you see this? Look right here. There's like rock... Okay, that's sketch. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. the most sketch thing I've found what? yet. That's their drug stash. Uh, maybe. This is just a bag is all I'm seeing. We'll open it up to make sure. What else is in here? Peppermint. I can't believe it's not butter. I can. Uh, oh, here's one of the things out of the package. Let's see what it looks like. Is it just a regular calculator? It looks like the Pokédex. Yeah, it does. It looks like <laughs> those old Pokémon things for people from our generation. Uh, baggies and sauce cups and calendars with horses in them. We're about to empty this into the trash bag because it's very suspect. Not gonna lie, we went to the dump. We probably look like psychopaths. I was emptying flour bags. I was emptying sugar bags, brown sugar bags because I don't trust these people. And I don't know what could be in here. Be like, what is that? What are, what are these pieces? I know, what is that? I don't want to get sugar all over my hands. What is that? I'm just going to pour it all out. All right. Yeah. Uh, that looks like that. Bone, man. That's the super sketchy right there. If somebody has an explanation in the comments, please enlighten me. Next Lowe's box right here. Oh, it looked like it was open, but it's not. Let's see what's in this one. Come on, we need a cool, cool ending. I need more cash or preferably guns, that'd be cool. You know, I can't say guns over cash, I'd take both. Is that an ice cream scooper? Yeah, scooper for anything. I call it ice cream scooper. This right here. Shop towels. For mechanics. That, uh, rubbing alcohol and pills. Weird. Uh, what do we got here? An LED dual power shop light with magnifying glass. Elbow support. Oh, oh a band. Ugh. Okay, we're going <laughs> hardcore in this bag. This is ripped open. I'll just set it over there. Is this really elbow support? Um, let's see. Yeah, it's really elbow support. You just don't know with these people, man. You gotta check everything. Let's check the other side of the bag. Uh, spoons, paper. Um, what are these slow cooker liners? Let's. See. Okay, it's sealed. So you gotta make sure this one's not. That's empty. So many of those. These are bandages. Yeah, I guess different colors, different days. <laughs> Do some hunting camo gloves. That's good. A boo boo box. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma gave me one of those. Uh, those more nuts. Mm, that's what I'm just gonna throw that in the trash. Ooh, give me the envelope. Ooh. Let's see what else is in here first. A boo boo box. Nothing. <laughs> What's this? This is. Seashell. All right, where'd the paper go? Just... Honey, put down the boo boo box. Sorry, I don't know why I was still holding it. That's what I thought I had, but it, I thought it was this. Let's look inside the envelope, make sure that's all it is. Yeah, just papers, unfortunately. Before I get to the next box, I want to point out that our $1 yard sale that was canceled yesterday is now rescheduled for this Saturday. Again, weather permitting, we weren't expecting to have five or six inches of snow come in last minute, so. We're gonna cross our fingers and hope we can do it again this Saturday. If you're not on the list already, email us at this email here. Otherwise, you're already on the list. We'll keep you updated, but it's winter, so everything's iffy right now. Let's see what's in the next Lowe's box. Closet. Closet? Ooh, I know what's in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> and I also know what's in mine. <laughs> yeah, yours is shoes, mine's gun. So either which way, it would be cool. What is this? Mm. Looks like one of the, like a hamper or something. All right. Ooh, look at this leather-y looking purse. That is completely empty, or you can't see in the center yet. 
Let's open up the center zipper. Completely empty, unfortunately. It's a fossil? I thought that it has like an identification number and everything in it. Is that a high-end purse that I've never heard of? Mm -hmm. I know oh. fossil makes watches. Yeah, outside's not super good condition, but... It's decent. Well, the, the outside right here isn't good, but the strap is it. Yeah. This is like a fanny pack, it looks like. But we are ripping that sucker open and we're putting our hand in every possible pocket. And there's nothing. That's okay. Ah, uh, what is that? Okay, never mind. It's a, like a chair umbrella holder. Yeah, umbrella holder. <laughs> I saw the little fishnet and I was like, no, don't touch it. A chair? Yeah, maybe it's a little chair. Or a little What's in here? Uh, nothing. Nothing and also nothing. A lot of purses. Maybe these could be worth a little something. This one's got a little weight to it here. Let's see. Ooh, what's that? This is empty. Well, that's trolled. What about further in there? Anything else? It sounds like there's paper, you hear that? Every time I move something, is that just the material it's made out of? Who no. That's just a paper towel, weird. What about this section here? A pen in the back section. One more spot, nothing. Hmm. Just the material. And that, yeah, I guess it is. Then we got two of these twin bed sheets. Twin bed sheet and what is that one? Another one? Yeah. All right, two twin bed seats. Next box right here. Ooh, I hear rattling in it. Hopefully we can find more jewelry. By the way, today we went through all the jewelry that we had found earlier in the filing cabinet. We ended up with eight gold rings, including one that was 18 karat gold, and there was a gold locket, and scrap value was $460. I think the total over all the gold was like 1,300 some dollars, which is just mind boggling. But this unit has just been one mind-boggling experience. So let's see what's in here. Are those paint brushes? Lots of them. A whole lot of paint brushes. That twine. What's in the brown paper bag? We found money in the first one. We got no. Uh, rocks. rocks. What does it say there? It has something on there. Uh, what does that even say? Murger. Murder. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just put it back in the bag it was in. This here is what is that? Plastic mm -hmm. something. Plaster form. I don't okay. know. Okay. Is this modeling clay? Modeling clay! Clay is so satisfying. Um, I'm not even an artistic person, but I love clay. Ooh, toy design? What are you doing in there? You making toys? Eh, it's all notes. What else do we got? That's just the paper that fell on the floor. This here is war. Wow, look at how many there are, really. A lot of big ones in a new pack that looks like a smaller one, so lots of art stuff in there. I'll set it right here. And there's one more tote down here. This one looks like it's all tape, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's open it up. Yeah, that's all tape. Is that all that was in here? Oh. That roll this? Oh, it's heavy plastic drop cloth and there's also this uh brayers uh feels like a paintbrush or it looks like a paintbrush i don't know what a paintbrush would feel like through a box <laughs> a rolling brush right. and other than that we have paper towels trash bags which we'll take and use to get the trash out of here this feels very light i have a feeling this one's going to be closed but you can never be too sure Let's slice it open and find out. That's exactly what it looks like. But there could be something under it. But no, there's not. But by the way, if you're interested in buying clothes, shoes, dolls, lots of things, even some of the sewing patterns, go to our description and click on our Poshmark. Like my mom, Mama Jeebus, runs it. She lists all the stuff, she keeps all the money. So if you wanna help her out, go down there and check that stuff out. And if you're new to the site, sign up with the code Jeebus underscore treasures because you'll get a free $10 and it gives us a free $10. So help us out and help yourself out if you're new. I wanna get this one first because I'm weird and it's just kind of... Well, that caused a big problem, didn't it? Should we see what fell? Uh, we'll check that in a second. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what's in here first. <laughs> I didn't think this was holding anything up, but apparently it was, huh? Yeah. Blue Rip. You know what? Blue Ridge Park Hood. This was our goal, like, last week when we went on a trip, and the whole thing shut down because of the weather. So, I'm kind of mad. Hey, look. That's just thrown in our face. Yeah, they just wanted to brag. I get it. It's okay. Triple I'm bag. bragging, too. 
Off of the stuff we're finding in this unit. Is this a fanny pack? Uh, there's nothing in there. Just fanny, empty fanny packs. Really old looking shoes. A Crown Royal bag. What is this? An ARP. Nothing in it. Hmm, what's in here? Just bags? Empty bags. Uh, the rest of it might be clothes. What was it? A belt buckle? Oh, well. <laughs> is that the tip of the microphone? The tip of the microphone and then a belt buckle. Okay. Nothing else in here though, but clothes, unfortunately. Next little Lowe's box here. Let's see what's in this one. It's got a it's kind of in the middle weight. Not light enough to be all clothes and not heavy enough to be books. So those are my favorite kind of weighted boxes. We're seeing a lot more sewing fabric. Man, I could sew a blanket this size of the United States with the fabric in this unit. Not even kidding. We have another piece here. Let's see what's in the folder or the binder. Pictures and ooh, what's that? What's in here? Just papers. Dang it. <laughs> Man can hope, right? Let's look in the front. No, it's just, the, we'll give this back to them. That's just pictures. This here, I don't even know. Those. That, what is this? Whatever it is, it's in a little bubble wrap thing. It's a, oh, a wireless mouse. Oh. Put that back in there. I don't know what that's for. This. A lot of electronic pieces and manuals, it looks like. And then we have newspaper wrapping up this like hook right here. It looks like it would just hang something on it outside. Next little box here. Ooh, this one's heavy. Let's see what's in there. Just stacks of money, right? Whoa. There's a lot of little white boxes in here. A lot of these. There's shine light in here, real quick. Well, a lot of them in there, and there's stuff underneath of them, too. But let's see what's in one of the boxes. What's your guess? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be boring, but take your frame. <sighs> You've been right. <laughs> so this is a huge hoard of picture frames. Let's count them, because I want to see what's underneath of them. It might just be stuff put in there to, you know, make sure they don't bang when they're moved. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Either. Oh my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> 10, 11 picture frames. And yeah, just a bunch of fabric, which I'm assuming they set there so the things don't bang when they're moving the boxes around. Next Lowe's box right here. We got a bonus on top. Uh, praise cassette tape. Before I slice this open though, guys, make sure leave the video a like because it helps us out a lot. And of course, make sure you subscribe if you're not already because this is the 10th part of this unit alone. Plus we buy them all the time. So if you like this kind of stuff, you should subscribe. Yeah, this looks like clothes, but we're going to see anyway. Yeah, these are bras. What's this? Bug pants? Bug pants. All right. We're just going to get around, work around the bras. What are these? Shower curtain? Shower liner. Okay. This here, a back pain relief kit. Um. All right. Uh, let's see. These over here, just cleaners. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get these aside. What's in this? That's collagen. And then there's another one in here, which is a collagen. They don't buy one of anything, whoever owned this unit. Hey, one nine volt battery and like a heated blanket, along with some shoe soles and a lot more of whatever these are. The shower things again. Let's take this big long box up here because it's got me curious, and it's like, you know, a good length if I was gonna box away a couple rifles or shotguns. It's a good length for that. Let's slice it all the way down. Let's see what's inside. It looks like a easel of some sort. What is this? Is that what it is? I don't know what it is in pieces. Uh, I'm trying to read like the instruction manual thing. You see that little picture of it there? Yeah, but that looks like some kind of bracket. I'm not sure what this is. It comes I'm, with wheels. So I'm but gonna base, guess. Based on this thing, it's probably an easel. That's what I'm saying that based like on that. Yeah. So I'm gonna guess this is a brand new easel in box. This looks like a lemonade beverage dispenser thingy, but I'm gonna slice it open because that looks retaped and you know, everything's up for question here. If I haven't made that clear already, finding all this hidden stuff. It is, no, that's what it is. And guess what? It's unused. What is this? Uh, is that the paper for it? Okay, that's just the instructions for it. Yeah, unused. Next box here. 
This one feels like something protected by fabric to me. So that's a good sign. Let's see what it is in here. Yep. Wrong part to slice. I still did it wrong. All right, there it is. <laughs> it is paperwork, Fasting 101 kit, project book, some cleaning wipes. That's what's in there. Let's see. Yeah, they're actually good this time. Good. Last time we found them, they were left open. What's this here? Uh, organizing shelf. All right. Mr. Shop Planner. I see a lot of paperwork, which is going to take a lot of research off camera. Because look at this. Look at the amount of envelopes in here. Oh man, look in here. Medical too. There's something wrapped up right here. But first, let me just look in like a couple envelopes to see if anything looks like it may contain money. Because you never know. This one here. Uh, just paper. I want to guess 99.9% .9 chance that these are all paper, but for that 0 0.1, we'll definitely look into it later. What's wrapped up here is a coffee mug that says property of Maybury Sheriff's Department. That's kind of weird. All right, we got a Sheriff's Department thing. But other than that, guys, the rest of it is literally a bunch of paperwork that we're gonna have to search through off camera. Got a bigger box this time. Ooh. This one's been interesting to me for a while because I could see another box inside the box, but there was always stuff on top of it. So now let's see what I was missing. This box here, which has, I couldn't even tell you. It says shoe dryer. It's the second one that we found in this unit. Oh, a shoe dryer. I didn't even know that was a thing, but all right. With, uh, organizers, baggies, clothes, clothes. Clothes, more clothes. Are these new clothes? Yeah, look at this. Yeah. Eight bucks a piece for tank top. So hey, there's a lot of them in here though. Whole bunch of new clothes here. Let's check on this side. Um, it looks. What is that? This is a weird. Like this feels like leather. What is it? Uh, tablecloth. Maybe an old tablecloth. It's a weird feeling tablecloth. Other than that though. Unfortunately, it's just clothes and a lint roller down there. Let's get this little gray tote here off the top. Ooh, I don't like what I see on the side of that. It says medical. And well, it's telling the truth. We got sterile gauze. I don't like that word. Gauze. Gauze. I said gauze. <laughs> <laughs> this, I don't know what, this just looks like straight cotton or something, man. What is that for? I don't know. I don't know how that's used for medical. This, these are wraps. These are, you know, obvious. A boot, alcohol pads, and the last thing down there is extension cord. Besides this, what is this one? What? Is this medical? Explain to me how this is medically used. Please, leave a comment. Best comment wins. This time, I'm getting two boxes because why not, you know? There's no reason not to do it. Too good for one now? I am, I've moved past it now. I'm a two box kind of guy now. <laughs> Let's see what's in the taped up one first. Eh, slice it up, slice it open. Okay, let's see. This looks like bras and panties, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that and here is another bag. Why is it shut like this? Isn't that just, I don't know, that's suspicious. Oh, it's like something you hang and you can store stuff in. Not suspicious anymore. Let's see. What's that? An easy can? Electric can opener. Okay. Brand new, again. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, what's that? Is that another camera bag? It might be. Let's see what else is in here really quick first. Ooh, a bag here. It's definitely also got something in it. Nice. And close. Let's throw that down here. You can have the bag back, the panties, and the electric can opener. Let's look in the book bag first. What is first, what does that say, Renwick? Renwick, yeah. All right, in here, there's rubber band. Ooh. Because it was holding all the money. That's, ooh, what is that? Ooh, eyeglasses? Boo. There's something else in here too. What is that? Lipstick? Yeah, yeah. put it on. Nope, <laughs> not happening. Uh, nothing else there. Now let's open up the main compartment. 
Look right here. You got pens and stuff like that. Nothing down at the bottom. But there seems to be another back apartment here. Which has in it uh, nothing. No. A tum. Is that what's in there though? Is it just one tum? It's two tums. Woo! Uh, a book. And one last section. What's in here? Nothing. Anything in the book? Nope. Alright, let's see if this is another camera bag. I'm curious. Where is it open at? Um, is there a zip? Oh, it's up here. Let's see. It is a... Dun -dun. Oh. No. That feels like a camera to me. It's the right size for one. Give me another one, please. As long as it's, you know, relevant and still decently used. It is a camera. But let's see what kind. Ooh, nice. This is the, that's older. Canon PowerShot 8650 IS. Let's see if it cuts on, I doubt it. Where's the on off right here? No, probably a dead battery. What else is in here? Oh, a hoard of batteries. I guess this one might take actual like AA batteries. There's even more AA batteries on the side too. So that could potentially be a good find. Is that all that was in here? That is all that was in here. Maybe I did overstep my limits. Maybe I am a one box guy because I forgot the second box, but it's literally just a bunch of different used paint. So it wasn't that interesting anyway. Let's bring out this weird white box. It's got like a hole cut in it or something. What is in here? Check all these little individually wrapped something out. Well, we got this on top and underneath of it, we have just, just paper. That's just paper, but these are all buttons, huh? I was hoping they were going to be coins or gems, but a bunch of buttons. We'll set them right here for a second. You get back in there. No one says you can leave. And there's something else in here too. What is that? Oh, it's one of those like super bright, what are they called? Floodlights, I think. Super bright light. It's got handles on it and they're super bright. Did I mention super bright? Yeah. <laughs> and we got tongs in there. It's kind of a random buttons, floodlight, and tongs. I think this might win random box of the day. This box just says upstairs again. Let's see. It's definitely, it says upstairs, some clothes on it, but it's obviously not all clothes. You hear that rattle I heard? That's definitely not all clothes. Let's see what we can find inside. Oh yeah, this is the weirdest set of clothes I've ever seen. So, ooh, this has got some type of soap in it. We're not gonna open that up. This little bag here, I'm um, not seeing anything in it, unfortunately, but it's nice, like leathery feeling. It feels like, you know, nice leather. There's that cheap feeling leather and that good feeling leather. This feels like the good leather. This, I don't wanna know. Why is it all sticky in here, man? Yeah. That, ooh, what's all on the side of that? I don't know. I don't know either. This is starting to sketch me out, not gonna lie. So, um, what is this? Ew. This is gonna go in the garbage. What else do we have in here? So, some clothes. What's under all the clothes? Like, this thing is a walkie talkie. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And then we got, that's all right, it's just clothes falling. Are these empty? Uh, oh, <laughs> of course that's empty. A stun gun wouldn't be in there. But I wonder if it's somewhere else in here. This. <laughs> what is this here? Uh, what is this? Customer receipt. Do not enclose currency bag. Large coin bag. Lock. Now you got my attention. Let's rip the clothes out. All right, clothes gotta come out now because we gotta be sure. On the floor, where's the coins? Where's the coins? What is that? Hide a key. Look at, oh, that's cool. The key goes in a rock. Man, these are the kind of people that would have that too. And this, oh look, get out. This is, oh, it's never even opened. It's like, what is it, put keys in it or something? Mm -hmm. That's cool. What else is in here? Nothing. There's gotta be something else. What's that? Another key. There's gotta be something in here. I didn't know it. I'm making a mess, but that's okay. We gotta figure this out. Just a photo album. Let me look in here. Uh, it's got like 
cut out prayers in the front and the rest of it's empty. That's strange. They use like one section of it. What's this? Just, what if it's just money? <laughs> Come on. Come on. No, it's just paper. Shirt. What? There's nothing in here. There's nothing else in here. Man, that coin bag got me excited, but I don't see anything else. So we were just going through stuff here, having a good time. And then I looked at my phone and realized it's 9.57. This gate closes permanently for the night at 10. So we had to load up. We got out of here with like less than a minute to spare. Now it's the next day. So let's go through the rest of the stuff and see what else we got. This is what? More seashells? A shell. More seashells and a giant blue plastic thingy. This I'm gonna assume was holding the seashells and it kind of busted out. Yep, a bag of seashells. What is that? A mini wooden table easel, which is in there. Ooh, what's that? It's a gift card. It's a wine voucher. It's pretty much garbage. But yeah, this is actually in there, and all those shells are actually in there. This, these are all the boxes we have left. Four and units. Beautiful units finally gone. Let's get to Lowe's box here and see what's inside. There's the knife. Uh, wait, is this the last Lowe's box like this? This is the last one of this size we have. Aww. Oh, this is sad. <laughs> this unit has been incredible. This has been like a experience I won't forget anytime soon. Whole food. And inside we have, ew, nuts. I'm so tired of nuts. I really am. A whole thing of nuts and different food. That's just dirty. Uh, let me look all the way down here. Yeah, this is all food right here. Let's get this disgusting stuff out the way. The shooters had a lot of gross stuff, but I think we'd agree that the positive outweighs the negative in this one. Uh, what is this? And why did you have the desire to keep it? I'm not looking into this, we're throwing it away. This one here was kind of holding this giant easel. By the way, I'm pretty sure we have one, two, three easel boards or something that are still in the box. No idea what those are worth, but they're still in there. Ooh, I thought this was open. Not quite. Technicolor. Technicolor? That sounds like a printer. Um, what's in here? Fabric, fabric, fabric. What is that? I'll find that out in a second. Let's take out some of this fabric here. The amount we found in this unit is just crazy. Like, seriously. A bucket? Uh, what's in this? Oh, surprise, huh? Surprise, surprise. It's a bucket of fabric. <laughs> Who would have ever guessed? And there's more fabric. And well, there's fabric all the way down. Lights. Besides this big old thing here, which just feels like a giant piece of wax. Yeah, I think it's a melt for candle. Yeah, it's just a giant candle wax block. Pick this box up. It's super light. It says pillow on it, so we got a pretty good assumption here. But you never know. So we gotta look at it really fast. Might be something in it, under it, around it. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> the assumption's right. Ah, oh, there's something at the, not at the bottom of the box. I'm Dang. stupid. I thought that was something under there. It was just pillows. Now to go with all the fabric and yarn we found, we we're bound to find this, or find this eventually too. This looks like a Singer sewing machine. Act it up. The little disc on how to use it. Let's see if that's what's under the styrofoam. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. Check that out. It's got the foot pedal, it's got four little spools on it. So if anyone knows how much this goes for, let me know in the comments. What's the, does it have a brand or model on it? Oh, Singer. Yeah, uh, Singer what though? Uh, maybe that. Singer 14CG754. Hopefully that'll let somebody out there that knows about sewing know. Let's get this weird misshapen box here. It's got like a growth coming out the top of it and stuff. Let's see what's in it. And shocker, all right, yeah. fabrics. And hey, look, brand new pillows. And there's something wooden in there, so maybe not all fabric. Let's see what that is. Come, ooh, get out. What are you? <laughs> well, what it was is now nothing. Okay, there's nothing in it. It's like a bunch of little drawers. So did I, but. They're all empty. No, this one's not. It's got a little I love you pendant in it. I love New York. I love New York. Um, hold on, we're gonna open them all really quick. Empty, empty, 
Empty, empty, empty. This one's obviously not. This one's got in it like little letters. I guess to glue and make stuff. That, empty, and empty. Well, other than that, I guess just one of them fell out. Other than that, it's just new pillows. We're down to two boxes and what we think is a fan left in this unit. Let's call this guy out. Actually, this box fell and almost crushed her, so. Yeah, I almost died this time. Yeah, way. it was your turn this time, but we weren't <laughs> recording. Yeah. So, let's see what's in this one. We got a slicer. Nice. That's kind of cool. Double Set that aside. Burner. This looks like a bunch of kitchen stuff. What is that? New double burner. Nice, a double burner. Nice. Uh, let's see. Is that cookie sheet? Dude, this is cracker. These are crackers. Ew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just nice. Oh, That's so big. There's the top to it. Don't ask me. Oh, there it goes. Here is a bunch of paperwork that again we'll look through and then stuff that's personal just goes back to them. Here is more. Is this more paperwork? Or is this a collection of a million dollars? Eh, looks like paperwork. But we'll look through it again. Um, aluminum foil. What's this over here? Pliers? Fisherman. Fisherman's pliers. Alright. In here. Are these used for fishing? No. <laughs> <laughs> what else is in here? Joseph Prince. What is all this? I don't know. It's something we'll look at again. More soap. More soap? Man, we already have a bunch of soap from this unit. What else is in here? Makeup and soap. <laughs> Over here. A wow, look at this. <laughs> what are you cooking with this? Like a witch's brew? Yeah. <laughs> That thing's huge. Uh, what's this KitchenAid thing here? What is that? Food processor? Mini robot, mini processor. A mini food processor. Uh, look what I see under it though. I can hold it. A band. See the band. I know, the stuff is going down. All right. Let it go. <laughs> okay. All right. Look, a $50 band. Another in there. Dang it, what is this? It is canopy ties. All right. uh, what else is in there? There's more in there. Uh, nothing. Last thing is cups, a fur, like ice scraper, and more soap. <laughs> That's all that's in this box. Last real box of the unit besides the attempted murder box. This one's super heavy. It would be the most ironic thing ever if this box was cool. <laughs> the last one. Let's see what it is. Ugh. Put the knife up here and it looks like it's close. <laughs> well, that's not cool. I'm just gonna throw some of the clothes out. Oh. Hey, more money. Pennies. <laughs> Weird, but all right. What the heck, is that the top to a car? Headrest. Yeah. Um, let's see, let's see. What? A vase? All right. Oh, cool. I always wanted a pair of these for storage facilities. Yeah. This is what I always imagine, want to have in case we accidentally lock ourselves in or lose the key. <laughs> Just snip that thing open. That's pretty cool. Again, what? Oh yeah, trap. definitely. What's this big thing? Let's just get some of these clothes out the way. Come on, out, 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 out. This, what is this? Okay, there it is. Back, back life? I could not even begin to tell you what I think this is. I have no idea. Looks like it has foot pedals on it or something. I have no clue. Not the slightest of ideas. Uh, let's see. Toilet paper. All right, this is a beanie bag thing. These are checks. Open, open, open. Nope, it's just actual checks. I was kind of hoping there'd be bills in there, but no. Let's see. We have more clothes, a metal cup, a giant deadly knife, because why not? Let's see what else is in this bag here, in this box. This is rolled gauze, right? Yep. <laughs> 
and that it's not looking like too much is in here. Uh, an unknown powdery substance in a random container. That's not suspicious. More soap down below. Let's see if there's anything under this box. Unfortunately, there's actually there is a bag of something. It is hands and stuff like that. That is the second last thing in this unit. Hold on, one more bag. It's just paper. That is all that's in this box. I guess let's get out the attempted murder box and that's it for the unit. Last box of the entire thing. Right here. Let's see what I'm gonna smash here. What is that? What is this thing? A stove? Propane stove. Okay. What's in there? Oh, there it is. A stove. I was kind of hoping that was a lockbox, but <laughs> we'll take stove. It looks like it. It does. Let's see if the light in here. Papers, papers, pan. Move all this paper over. What are you guys trying to pad this well? What is this? A pipe? Or no, it's plastic. Not too sure. The only other thing in here is a dustpan and a couple things that sit on your desk to hold your pens and pencils and things like that. And sadly, that's the end of this beautiful unit. But we would find even more money at the very end. Look at our garage behind me. This is where this unit's at now. Everything that wasn't garbage is, well, it's in here. The only thing left in the unit is that chicken coop. But now that we didn't find any, you know, handheld devices that you know launch bullets I want to tell you something about the owner that I was kind of withholding so a lot of people were asking about her remember I told you early on what the facility manager told us is that she was in a mental institution so that's what we had to go off of however I looked this name up over and over and over again for Facebook accounts and other things and I could not find anything so I was getting very irritated with it but then we found documentation in the paperwork we looked for in 2016 this lady filed for a legal name change and you know why I think that was because in 2011 you can look up the other name we found that she was arrested for armed robbery so she literally pulled up with guns out and tried to just rob these people straight up I don't know if she got away with it or not so the first thing I thought when I saw that was holy crap that money stolen isn't it but no the robbery took place 2011 the bills were like dated 2015 17 or something like that so it was well after so as far as I know it's not stolen, at least my fingers are crossed that it's not stolen, but still, to think of a 61-year-old lady, at the time when she was arrested, 61-year-old lady, pulling up, guns drawn for money, that's kind of weird, right? Now just let me show you the other unit that we bought at the end of December we haven't even touched yet. Check this one out. As that great unit comes to an end, we also bought this one December 31st of last year and still have not touched it. This is what you can see next time. Oh, there's so much stuff I like. Hunting clothes, crossbow, ammo cases, NASCAR guy, I don't really like him, but you know. <laughs> Army bags back there. There is so much to look forward to, so make sure you subscribe and make sure you come back.